Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Student Management System Project Tutorial in PHP. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple admin dashboard or admin panel using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. So this tutorial will be really simple. We'll have a header like this. Here you can see a logo and a logout option. And on the left side, here you can see a sidebar option. Here we have some uh, option over here and in the middle we'll have some text so we will create this simple admin dashboard using only html css and bootstrap so in the previous tutorial we make this uh, multi-user login in php so let me just go to my admin dashboard let me just keep the password on to 34 and click login so here you can see this is my admin dashboard here you can see only admin home written over here and a logout option so over here we are going to make this design in our admin dashboard so let's go back to our code so here you can see we are currently in the admin home and if i go down here you can see the html code over here and inside this body we have this admin home and the logout option so we are going to remove this so save it and if you now refresh there is nothing over here so inside this body we are going to say header so first of all we want to create this header part here you can see the logo background image is sky blue and the logout option so inside this header we are going to say anchor tag then in this anchor tag we will say admin dashboard save it then refresh here you can see the text admin dashboard so we will write some css for this header so let me see our here class so the class let's say class name will be header as well so save it so in order to write the css for header we'll create a css file for this admin dashboard so we'll click over here then click new file and i'm going to say over here admin dot css save it Control s then save so we are going to write all the css for our admin dashboard over here admin dot css so uh, let me just show you my style.css we could have uh, also used style.css but the thing is we already write some css for our ul tag and this ul li and ul li and the anchor tag and for our admin dashboard we require to write a different type type of design for uh, those tag ul tag ul li tag so that's why we actually created this admin.css so if you are not following the, the tutorial series and if you only want to make this admin dashboard then you are free to write your css in style.css but if you are following this tutorial series then you should make this admin.css file and write the css for our admin dashboard over here so here you can see our class name is header so let me just copy this Control c and for class we'll uh, we need to give dot over here then we'll say the header name and we'll give two second bracket and inside it we are going to write all the css but before that we need to uh, connect our admin home.php to our admin.css so for it in the header we need to say here link and here you can see href inside this href we need to say admin.css so once you write this line uh, you will have the access to the CSS in the admin.css. So let's go over here and inside the header, we'll say background color, it will be sky blue. Save it. Then if you refresh here, you can see the background color is sky blue. So let's increase the height of this background color. We'll say here line height, it will be 70 px and we'll also say padding left it will be 30 px so if since we write padding left 30 px it means our this text will be a little bit on the right so if i now refresh here here you can see this text is little bit on the right and the background color height increased as well now here you can see at the top there is some gap so we'll fix this so we'll go back to our admin.css we'll give a star sign over here then we'll give two second bracket inside it we'll say margin 0px then padding it will be 0px as well save then refresh so this now looks better 
So under this test, you can see an underline over here. We are going to remove this. So for it uh, here in the admin home.php, uh, we write admin dashboard inside the anchor tag. So here we'll say anchor tag, then we'll set text decoration, it will be none. Save, then refresh. So the underline is gone. Now let's create this logout option over here. So for it, we'll go to admin home and after this anchor tag, uh, we'll say here div. Then inside this div, we'll mention a anchor tag. Then inside this anchor tag, we'll say log out. Save it. Then refresh. So here you can see log out option here. So in this div, let me say here class, it will be log out. Save. We'll go to admin.css. Then we'll give a dot, then log out. And inside it, we'll say float, it will be right. If I now save it, then refresh. Here we can see that the logout option is currently on the right side. Let's have this logout option a little bit on the left. So we'll say here, uh, here, padding, right, let's say 30 px, save, then refresh. So this looks better. And now we want the logout design to look like this. So for it, we are going to write some bootstrap class. So for writing bootstrap class, we need to have our have the bootstrap CDN in our code. So for getting the bootstrap CDN, all we have to do is that search for bootstrap, bootstrap, then CDN. And if I now press enter, then you will see something like this. Here you can see getting started bootstrap. Just click on this. Then if you go down, here you can see some uh, link over here all you have to do is that copy those thing Control c then we'll go back to our code admin home and we're going to paste it inside the head Control v so since we have the bootstrap cdn inside the head so we can write some bootstrap class so here in the anchor tag we'll say class we'll say btn btn then primary minus primary so this is a bootstrap class so in order to use this bootstrap class we regard to add the bootstrap cdn at the top in the head so if i now save it then refresh here we can see we make the logout option so you can see that we are able to make this header part really easily so right now we'll make the sidebar option over here so making the sidebar option is also really simple so after this header we are going to say here as it and inside this as site we are going to mention some ul li and anchor tag so first we are going to say ul and inside this ul we are going to mention li and inside this li we are going to mention a anchor tag so let me just copy this line control c and let me paste it uh, a few times four times so here first time uh, the first one let's say here admission then here we'll say add student then view student let's say here add teacher uh, let me just add uh, three more link li on to three so after add we are going to say view teacher then add courses the last one will be view courses so if i now save it then refresh so here you can see at the left side we can see our options over here so we are going to make it look like this so for it obviously we need to write some css so let's go back and here we are going to write some css for our ul tag so let's go to our admin.css then we'll say here ul we'll give to second bracket so first we are going to say here background color it will be hash 424a uh, 5p save it then let's refresh so here you can see our background color is this one. So right now we'll say here width, let's say width will be 16% and the height, it will be 100%. So save it, refresh. Okay, our height is like this. So let's go back to our CSS and here we'll say position, it will be fixed. Now save it, then refresh. So this looks better than before. So right now we'll say padding top. 
let's say it will be five percent and text align it will be center then refresh so this looks better so let's go back to our code then admin home.php so here you can see li tag inside the ul tag so we we'll say here ul then li then inside it we'll say uh, first we'll say list style it will be none let's say here padding bottom let's say 30 px then font size it will be 15 px save then refresh so this looks way better than before now let's change their color so for it here you can see we write the anchor tag here so here we'll say ul then li then the anchor tag and inside it uh, we we'll say the color it will be white then we'll say font size it will be bold refresh now here you can see if we hover it we actually cannot see them properly actually and there is also a underline so here uh, we are going to say let's say here ul then li then a will give this clone then we'll say hover so if you uh, hover your mouse to the text the color should be let's say sky blue save refresh if i hover it here you can see the color is sky blue but there is still the underline over here so let me say over here text decoration none save refresh okay there is no underline over there Okay, I think the font size is small. I did a mistake probably. Okay, I did a mistake over here. It will be actually font width, not size. Uh, sorry, font width. It will be bold. Save. Refresh. Okay, this now looks better. And also here, you can see if I take my cursor over here, there is also an underline. If I hover my mouse over here. So, at the top, let me go. Over here, we mentioned the anchor tag. Let me just keep a comma. Then another A, and here I'm going to say over. It will be none. Let's save it. Then let's refresh. Okay, the underline is still here. Uh, let me just say over here. After this none, we'll give this sign, this not sign actually. Uh, then I'm say important. So if you write this, uh, then it will forcefully apply the CSS. Save it, refresh. So there is no underline right now. So we created our simple admin dashboard really easily. So now let's uh, have some text inside it. So for it, uh, we'll go to our admin home again, obviously. Then after this aside, we're going to say div. Then inside uh, here, inside this div, we'll say, let's say, uh, let me just go over here and let me just copy this one, control C. I'm going to say over here, H on tag, control V. Then let me just copy this text as well. Control C. Then here I'm going to say the P tag and Control V. So if I now save it and if I now refresh over here, you can see the text is actually inside the uh, sidebar actually. So we want the text to be in the middle. So for it, uh, here you can see we mentioned the div. So we are going to say here obviously a class so let's say our class name will be content now we'll go to our admin.css then here we are going to say dot content then inside it we are going to say margin left it will be 20 percent then margin top let's say margin top it will be five percent so if i now save it then if i now refresh here you can see our sidebar i mean the text is over here so if you want to write any uh, design over here in this part then you are required to write everything in this div you can add anything inside this div let's say here input field input type will be text save refresh here you can see over here so if you want to add anything all you have to do is that write everything inside this div so this is how you can create the create a simple admin dashboard so let me just uh, fix something over here here you can see if i click logout it doesn't uh, logout us from here 
so we'll go back and here at the top here you can see our logout option and our href is empty and we also have our logout.php over here so we are going to just say over here in the href logout.php save it then let's refresh and if i click logout it will log out us from here so let me just log into our student dashboard let's click student and let's give the password click login so here you can see this is our student dashboard so we are just going to copy this code for our student dashboard as well so let me just copy it from here actually not here because this is the psv code code for our admin home so we are going to copy the code from here to here control c then we'll go to our studenthome.php and you can see this is our student home and this is the basic structure that you just saw over here so we are just going to remove this part then here you can already see the uh we already have the logout option over here so instead of admin we are going to say here student dashboard and and let me just save it for now and let me just refresh so here you can see student dashboard and in the student dashboard obviously we will actually have different uh, type of entry over here so let me just uh, remove most of them from here for now uh, let's just say, say over here my courses then we are also going to say over here let's say my result so if i now save it my result so if i now save it then refresh so this looks better my courses and my result so this is how you can create a simple uh, admin dashboard using only html and css so this was actually really simple i tried to make this tutorial as easily as possible so that everyone can understand it really easily but if anyone have any problem designing the dashboard then let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to help you as much as possible so thank you very much for watching and i upload programming related video every day so if you want to learn more programming then make sure to subscribe this channel and if you want to appreciate my work then make sure to give this video a like and also comment below so thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy